There's a grizzly bear that's been stalking us. There's a grizzly bear? Yeah. Did the bear actually attack you or come towards you? It charged us twice. You know, as an actor, I've gotten the chance to meet a lot of police officers and do ride-alongs, and I've met paramedics and firemen, but I've never had the chance to meet call takers or to visit a call center. How big was it? Uh, 12 feet. 12 feet? I mean, it's the biggest thing I've ever seen. I'm freaking terrified right now. For a brown bear, you want to play dead, and a black bear, you want to fight back. You know, most people in their life, they only will call 911 once, maybe yeah, twice. So the they treat the each call with the same importance that it has to you. Are there any of these shows or episodes or situations that really stand out for you? There was a call in Ogden, Utah, that started out as a domestic disturbance and then turned into a car chase. And then this guy fired shots at an ambulance. And then um, he started a, a fire in a field, and then he ran off into a construction site, and the whole thing lasted six hours. So they're well aware of the stakes, and uh, they're unbelievable people. They're really exceptional in how they are able to multitask and stay calm. In a single shift, I could take up to 100 calls per night. There's a guy walking around with a samurai sword on his back. I'll say that one more time. This is the drunkest driver I've ever seen. I can hear someone trying to get into my house through the back door. Uh, yes, I have a cat stuck up in a tree. You do kind of get more lighthearted calls, like, you know, a guy wandering out of a bar and he can't remember, you know, which tree he chained his bicycle to. <laughs> would you ever consider being a 911 operator if you wanted to change careers? I would just kind of be totally overwhelmed. And they're on 12-hour shifts, and I would only be in there for three or four hours and I would come out kind of with my head spinning, but mm. it only kind of left me with more admiration for them. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.